is your name? My name is Brianne Nadeau, and I am the council member in Ward 1. Great. So what is your relationship to Adam Morgan? Sure. Well, um, before I was council member, um, it was a place that I used to come and spend time with friends. And now that I'm the council member representing it, it's a place where I serve constituents, whether it's um, business owners, residents, or the children that go to school at Marie Reed, people that enjoy the park up here in Calorama. Um, it's a really vibrant part of my ward, and so I have the privilege of representing it. How old were you when you were first interacting with Adam Morgan with your friends? I was about 21. Okay, wow. So, yeah, almost 20 years ago. <laughs> So is there a space that's particularly meaningful for you to add in Adams Morgan? Sure. Well, so I won't get into, you know, all the places I used to hang out in my 20s, but I did spend a lot of time on 18th Street 20 years ago, and um, that was really special for me. Um, actually, let's see, I'll highlight a few. Million Owls was one of my favorites, um, so I really miss that. that, just that space being there, even though, you know, as a 40-something mom of two, I don't spend as much time. Um, in the evening hours out as I much used to, most, as I used to but um, you know the thing that I think really um, strikes me about Adams Morgan over the years is very similar to the rest of the District of Columbia you see spaces just transform right so a space that might have been residential becomes commercial and then can become residential again and that's something that's very indicative of the way that we use space in the district, and in particular in Adams Morgan. How do you feel about these changes? Well, I think as long as the changes are meeting the needs of the community, then then they're positive, you know. Um, and so it really depends on uh, what the change is. Um, but you know, sometimes we need uh, larger housing, and sometimes we need more housing, and sometimes we need. Uh, particular service and then we don't need it anymore. So as long as the changes are kind of flowing with the needs of the community, then I think that's a positive thing. Do you think Adams Morgan is flowing with the needs of its community? I do. I mean, I see that um, in the commercial corridor in particular, you know, new places open up, some places close because they're just not being patronized, right? And so that's a way for community members to express, you know, that they enjoy having it there or not, right? If people don't like it, then it's not gonna survive. But if they do and they really support it, then it will. Mm -hmm. So, and then our final question is, uh, what do these changes mean to you and, you know, the neighborhood? As someone who's grown up here or spent their 20s here and yeah. continues to serve them. Yeah, so, you know, I think it's, um, change is inevitable. And the work that I do is to try to ensure that really our most vulnerable people are continuing to be served and have access to the things they need, even as change is occurring. Because I think our more prosperous, our wealthier folks are always gonna have access to what they need. And so someone in my role as council member has to be thinking about how to protect our um, most vulnerable. Great, well thank you for your time. Yeah, thanks. For